Hey Leos, let's link some cards guys. Let's see what's coming out for you this week. This is for my Leos. Leos. Let's get it going. It's for my Leos. Ooh, first card out. We've got Emperor. Control and protection. Maintaining stability and structure. Practical and logical decisions. Strong divine masculine energy. Oh, staying organ <clears throat> organized, structured, but uh, making practical, logical decisions. Oh, because we've got something where somebody is sticking to us like glue. Mm -hmm. Codependent, can't live without you, can't live without each other. One can't exist alone, lacking independence, stuck like glue. We definitely got something this week that's putting us in the emperor position of we got to be... Um, how do I put it? More of the supportive, structured, uh, making decisions because somebody, uh, I don't feel like this is just <laughs> uh, somebody that's uh, lacking independence, but this week, for so, some week, this, this week, for some reason, uh, somebody is needing to lean on us some. Mm -hmm. See what else, Leo. Mm -hmm. Truth. Speak with honesty. What is hidden will come to light. All will be revealed. Oh, just standing in the truth. Uh, like I said, one thing is it could be somebody that is sick, guys, just sick or, you know, recovering from something that's got them. They need help this week and they are leaning on us. Uh, with that truth and stuff, it may actually cause uh, the person to have issues. If this isn't, if the energy can be flipped, this could be us having to rely on someone else. Uh, we might have been, you know, we might be going through something. I'm sick. I can't do everything. I, I need somebody to help me a little bit here. Uh, the truth is, is, is it. Anytime codependency is going to bother us, it's going to make us uh, feel awkward, you know what I mean, on the shadow side of it. Is it's like nobody wants to have to depend on someone else because it is coming in as I, I need to depend, I need help this week. Bottom of the deck, we've got moon emotions are at an all time high, seeing past illusions, hidden information and knowledge, repressed feelings. Oh, yeah. Repressed feelings, guys, it, it definitely, like I said, is just whoever, which, which, whoever it is, if it's you or if it's someone else depending on you, it bothers them. It's like, I don't like feeling like I'm helpless here. And, and that seems to be what the week is bringing out, um, the repressed feelings of, of that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards here. Let's come in on the Emperor. See what will come out for my Leos on that Emperor energy. It's for my Leos. My Leos. What's most helpful when it comes to that Emperor? Let's make practical, logical decisions. Strong, Be strong this week. The time is now. It is time to act now without hesitation. Move past the old and move forward. Yeah, it's not really time to to <laughs> sit and um, discuss something because, like I said, for some reason, somebody is really needing help this week. Uh, and and the emperor energy is like, no, we're not we're not going to sit down and let you figure out. Can you make it to the bathroom alone when it's obvious you can't get up and walk? <laughs> I'm going to help you, that kind of thing. That's just an example I'm giving you guys. Uh, so, yeah, just, yeah, it's the emperor's like, no, we're not discussing this. I've got this. I'm helping you. It's only temporary. We'll get through this. Uh, coming in on that codependent, we got exchanging gifts. There's a dance of give and take. What you give, you will get back. Yeah, absolutely. It's a reciprocity kind of thing this week, guys. And the one thing to remember, uh, the only thing the emperor is going to say is only temporary. We're going to get through it. I'm here with you. I got you back. Come on. <laughs> no more discussion about it. Coming in on truth, we've got unrevealed secrets. What is happening on the surface is not what you'll see if you dive deeper. Guys, during this time, this is one thing I do want to say. It's triggering off whoever's having to, you know, in that I, I don't like being helpless here. 
uh, or feeling like I'm helpless here, but it's actually going to trigger deeper conversations uh, of someone, one of us or both of us wanting to talk on a deeper level with each other, things that we haven't talked about before. Mm -hmm. Revealing some of our deep, deeper sides of ourselves. Hand of Fate is on the bottom of the deck. Everything is happening for a reason except things to which fate binds you. Yes. Oh, except the things. It's just the way it is. And like I said, if you're standing in the emperor energy this week, just be like, you know, there's no discussion about this. You know, there's no feeling sorry or anything else. We're not doing a pity party. We're getting through this. We're, get, we're getting stronger and it's only temporary. I know you would do it for me. That kind of thing. And you keep going. See what comes out on... um time is now we've got angelic help you have angels who are near ready to assist you in your growth and in accomplishing your divine life purpose Ooh, we've got angels helping the divine unseen help on this one coming in on exchanging gifts well we got decisions if you take too long to decide worries ego and limiting beliefs and the opinions of others will begin to creep in. Yeah, this is what I was saying, uh, guys. Don't, don't sit down in the pity party with someone if, you know, when you're standing in the emperor, it's like, nope, you taking the lead and you giving the directions <clears throat> will help someone stay focused and um, it'll help them heal quicker, guys. I don't know how else to put it. It's just I've got control. You can relax a minute. Coming in on the truth here, we got thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibration. Yeah. Oh, like I said, for this is actually going to trigger a deep conversations, things we didn't know about each other and wouldn't normally share with other people. Uh, we'd be sharing this week. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Bottom of the deck, we've got dominion. Yeah. Take the lead. You're the master of your dominion, which may intimidate others, but you can outdo your opponents. Stay calm and observe. Calm and observe. Let's pull some more here. Let's see what else will come out for my Leo. Just come in on the Emperor. And yep, definitely having to step up this week. One of us, anyway. Pop, we've got last quarter moon in Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. Practice gratitude. Ooh, practice gratitude. Coming in on uh, that center card of somebody just does not like to feel helpless here. Ah, uh, new moon in Sagittarius, guys. This is quick, quick moving. Whatever it is, it's a quick. It's it going to. It's going to flow quickly. It's going to recover. Whoever it is, they're going to recover quick. Yeah, because the Sagittarius has a lot of momentum and moving up. Focus on the focus on the positive. Yeah, keep thoughts positive. Keep talk and communications positive. Uh, no negativity over here. Own those thoughts and the truth. Last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. Ooh, most definitely going to have some conversations there, guys, that we wouldn't normally have. And that's probably what helps move the person into recovery a lot quicker. Because uh, it's, it's all a feel, like feel-good energy uh, with that emperor, you or them. I don't know how it is, guys. Um, just doing what I got to do. We're going to do what we got to do. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. Let's come in on this uh, practice gratitude over here. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. I know that I cannot change the past. Mm -hmm. Coming in on a state uh, focus on the positive success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Uh -huh. Than to love this week. Yes, and coming in on these conversations you're getting ready to have. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Ooh, 
like I said, some uh, somebody is dependent on uh, dependent on us, or either we're having to depend on them. Brings a great appreciation for whoever stepping into that emperor. Oh uh, wow! Yes, thank you. <laughs> Gratitude. Ooh, okay. Let's get you some blessings this week, Leo's. My deck wanting to fight, but that's okay. Sometimes it's meant to. Let's see what my blessings are. For, we got one on the bottom. Two on the bottom. Okay. We're getting four here. Okay. Blessing. A blessing for peace of mind. Mm -hmm. We may be bestowing it on someone else or they're just bestowing it to us in a time of need. A blessing to shield and safeguard you. Mm -hmm. A blessing to find your way. A blessing to find your way. And a blessing on your intuition. Mm, love it. Let's get you a starlight message. It's for my Leos. Let's see what's coming out for my Leos. Ooh. Replenish. The sun will rise and we will try again. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow will be better. Next week will be better. Everything will be better for whoever it is that's... Uh, needing to hear it. <laughs> yeah, let's see if there's anything else for my Leos. Anything else for my Leos. Oh, yeah. Radiate. Let your light shine through. Oh, your light shining through this week, guys. Leos, y'all have a beautiful week. I hope it was helpful. Stay blessed.